We're quite new to fashion photography. I'm known more as a celebrity portrait photographer, but the last couple of years I've seen the market take us into fashion photography. And kind of along with that, we've really, really embraced film. Um, fashion is a fantastic sector for film. I often say when I shoot stills that I try to surprise the viewer. Um, I think I think that translates in my in my filmmaking. Ultimately, when you make an image or a series of images or moving images, you're, you're trying to portray the world in the way that you see it and in a way that you hope the viewer will relate to as a piece of fantasy. We've just made a fashion film uh, in Scion House in, in West London as part of the Nikon V2 Speed project. I use the V2 quite extensively. Um, alongside my my other Nikon bodies, the D800, D800E. I kind of wanted to, to work on something that, in an environment and a project that I knew would be very, very fast paced. Well, about two years since we started making really clumsy, foolish uh, little films that just didn't work to where we are now. It seems like a natural progression for a lot of photographers, certainly for me. We're retaining the the fashion film approach to location, aesthetic, model, um, style. But we're trying to embrace the storytelling aspect of film. There's a lot of films being made in the name of fashion films that are just photographic vignettes and the camera pans across them. And we kind of, we're, we're trying here on this project to try and make something that tells a little story. I wanted to show the V2 working in an environment that requires a great deal of speed. Um, speed in communication, speed in execution, um, there's no room for error. When I'm in an environment that's, that's challenging um, and manoeuvrability is important, um, that's where the V2 comes in for me. Today's all about trying to get as much worked out about how we're technically going to go about what we're doing tomorrow. It's called pre-light day, so we will literally, some of the scenes that we're going to shoot, we will pre-light and leave that lighting set. We will block the movement of the film, um, try and narrow down some of our planned shots, think about our schedule, just try and get everything balanced and have a very clear picture of what we're doing tomorrow and when we're doing it. It's very important to be able to communicate what you're looking for in terms of mood or movement or framing or lighting and having something that allows you to, to, visually, to visually illustrate that to your crew. We're all visual people so it's much better to show them how you want it to look than to try and describe it um, and it's much more quicker and much more direct. You're, you're always tweaking this and tweaking that and you have to be able to really quickly um, impart that to the other members of of your crew. I love the interchangeability of the, 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 the lens system, being able to put my 35mm lenses on it. We, I, I, I'm fortunate that I use 1.4 lenses from the Nikon range and having those lenses on a, on, on a compact is it's just, it's just a joy, it's great fun for me. The viewfinder is crystal clear, it, it, it behaves well, it performs brilliantly. Um, whether we're in a dark room or a light room or we're outside or we're inside or, or wherever we are. I don't have a whole lot of time to be thinking about exposures and, and how I'm captured in that moment, whether it's stills or video. So we've just tested the aerial shots from the helicopter and it, it looks <laughs> really awesome. Yeah, it looks really good. The last two days of filming, um, we've been presented with the usual challenges, ideas that you thought would work um, that haven't quite panned out that way, but I think, we've, I think we've got there in the end. That's the last shot done um, of this film that we've, we've created for the Nikon V2 Speed project. I think everything's gone to plan. Um, we certainly got everything that we set out to get, and it's just a matter of getting it into edit now and piecing it together, um, which I'm looking forward to.